While ports everywhere have always taken security seriously, the events of September 11, 2001 marked the beginning of an unprecedented new era in port and maritime security. As the largest container port in the Western Hemisphere, the Port of Los Angeles immediately brought all of its resources to bear, and over the past decade, the port has earned a reputation as one of the most recognized leaders in port safety and security. Soon to be operating out of a new, state-of-the-art headquarters, the Port of Los Angeles Police Department is one of only a few police forces in the nation that runs a full-service, 24-7 maritime security and police operation. This is viewed as one of the most progressive regions in the world as far as port security and supply chain security. One of the best things is to walk into a room, sometimes with virtual strangers, and hear about how the Port of Los Angeles is viewed as a center of excellence and best practices when it comes to security issues, when it comes to public safety. Further proof of the Port of LA's international security leadership is on full display right here at the Port's new Maritime Law Enforcement Training Center a world-class facility specifically created to train local, state, and federal law enforcement personnel in all aspects of port security, including counter-terrorism practices and procedures. We're very proud of the Maritime Law Enforcement Training Center. A few months ago, we had Secretary Napolitano here. She was quite impressed not only with the curriculum, but the technology and capabilities of this facility. And I have to tell you, there's not a day that goes by where we don't get an inquiry from a neighboring agency or another part of the world where they want to know how can they be a part of the training and how can they become a part of this system that we have here in the Southern California region, especially in the Port of Los Angeles. Just last July, dozens of FBI trained law enforcement personnel attending the 2011 FBI National Academy Associates Conference came to the port to witness a highly coordinated maritime tactical demonstration. The demonstration depicted a multi-agency land, air, and sea response to a hostage situation aboard two civilian vessels, and it was clear to everyone in attendance that communication, coordination, equipment, and most of all, highly trained enforcement personnel all play a crucial role in any complex security operation. Our officers are all trained to do things that other officers anywhere else aren't. They have capabilities that special forces within the military have. They are clearly capable of making sure that this port maintains itself as a safe port, a place I would be more than comfortable bringing my kids to any time. The demonstration you just saw should tell you the shipper, should tell you the ship owner, should tell you the person who's, you, who's here for the cruises, that when you're here in the Port of Los Angeles, you're safe. There's no question that today, ocean carriers, marine terminal operators, and shippers worldwide are dealing with many issues regarding costs, competition, the global economy, and security. The Port of LA can't change the myriad of global factors that impact your business, but when it comes to cargo and asset protection, they can, and do, provide something that's extremely valuable. Peace of mind that comes from security that's second to none.